Well, welcome to camp, my friends. So excited you're here. We're starting on the top of the sunlit zone where the sun comes in and makes the water nice and warm for our tropical fish. And each of you are going to be getting a cutout of a fish from the sunlit zone. And you will notice that there are plastic, clear plastic pieces in between each of those black thick lines. Now we're going to be making like a stained glass. Some of you might be just happy enough with the stained glass that's already made there for you. But if you want to make even more designs for you to color in, no biggie deal. Just take a Sharpie and go ahead and add your lines. You can make them thick, probably thicker the better. And add those designs in there. Just keep an eye on your time. And once you've got it going, it's going to look like this. But remember, you must always flip it over. If you see the black, um, the big thick black lines when you start to um, color yours in, you have a problem. You must color it in from the back. Now what Annika is using here is um, kind of a, a, it's a thing for people who want things to look like stained glass but they don't know how to cut glass and don't want to cut their fingers off. So this is um, a type of paint that you can put on glass and when you first have it, it will not look clear. It's going to look what we call opaque, where you can't really see through it. Notice that Annika is kind of squeezing and drawing at the same time. You might wonder, is the tip of her applicator there actually touching the plastic? Yes, it is. She's just lightly squeezing and drawing at the same time. The tip is touching the plastic. Now here she's going for a little bit of a like, oh, yellow going into the coral, going into the next color, blah, blah, blah. When you pick these things up, it is so, so, so important that you make sure that you always put the cap on. You can only imagine how horrible it's going to be if all these get clogged. It's going to take forever and you will have no patience for it, especially because it's summertime. So here she is shaking away. She's like, come on, come on. And then eventually it came out. So if you have this problem, please do not be like, eh, mine won't come out. Just try and solve your own problem first and see if just by shaking it down or by tapping the tip against the table, if you can get that um, paint to come out. So here she is. She looks like she's still not real happy with it, but she's moving along and she's doing a little bit of this one color going into another color going into another color kind of thing. And so she's just continuing to color and color and color. Look at her go. Look at her go. There she is. I wonder what she'll do next. Let's see. So these beautiful tropical fish, some of you are going to have um, lionfish. Some of you will have rays. Some of you will have um, some fish that maybe you won't even know what they are. You'll need to look at your um, sunlight, twilight, and midnight chart later on to figure out where your fish is from. And by the way, since this is the first day of camp, it's important for you to know that the ocean goes incredibly deep. We will be talking about this later. However, most of the animals and fish that live in the ocean are in the very, very top layer of the water. Um, I don't know if you can imagine this, but if you could imagine me running across a football field, that is how deep you could go where there's still going to be light shining. If I ran all the way back across that football field, that is as deep in the ocean as light goes. It really, the light really does not go that deep. And 90% of all of the animals that are in the ocean live just in that top layer. It's amazing how they don't run into each other all the time. Anyway, here she is starting to go do something kind of fancy fancy where she's like trying something new and doing a little polka dot thing. You might find that you have your own technique that makes you happy. And when you are finished, I love it that Annika is capping each one, making sure that they snap 
I love it that she did not flip her project over. What's going to happen if she flips it over? Disaster! Don't do that because uh, it's going to be wet. You're just going to make sure that your sticker is on the back of it with your name on it so we know it's yours. We're going to let it dry overnight and that paint is going to dry clear. You can pack up your station and you have now completed your project for day one, your stained glass window. Have fun.